All right, off to a comfortable, quiet start across northwest Arkansas. 50s and some low 60s, so uh, feeling good across northwest Arkansas this morning. Uh, we've got uh, temperatures feeling nice as well across the River Valley, 50s and 60s. So, again, that front moved through a little over 24 hours ago, and we can really see some of that drier air. Now, the effects of that drier air that has had time to move in, that drier air can cool off uh, more efficiently as we go overnight. Yesterday, it was cooler across northwest Arkansas. This time, the River Valley was still a little bit closer to that front dealing with some of that warm air. All right, we're tracking our next rain chance coming in. Two ways of energy that we're looking at. <clears throat> Overall, we're going to be in what we call a northwest flow the next few days. And uh, anytime we talk about the flow or wind speeds or the wind direction, it's always from where it's coming. So we call it a northwest flow because it's coming from the northwest. But there is some energy in the atmosphere kicking up some rainfall. Obviously, we're seeing the shower and thunderstorm activity in, in southern Oklahoma along the Red River Valley. And then we've got some energy up in Kansas. We may even see some thunderstorms try to fill in in parts of uh, central and northern Oklahoma, maybe fill in the gap. But Bottom line, this wave of energy, this lift in the atmosphere will be diving southeast today. I think the brunt of the rain to the south of us stays to the south, but we'll watch the edge of that get a little bit closer. That gives us a decent shot for some scattered showers around the Washita is right there. Southern areas of five country. And then I think this wave to the north, I think it'll continue, maybe fizzle out a little bit at times, but some of this spotty shower activity will likely continue into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. Uh, we do have a low low end chance of a strong storm or two, mainly across the River Valley, uh, connected with the thunderstorms that are trying to get going out in Oklahoma now. And then if we do see some thunderstorms develop in central Oklahoma and then they move southeast, could clip parts of the River Valley, the Washita's, uh, can't roll out a few storms capable of producing some uh, damaging hell and then a few strong uh, damaging wind gusts. That's what we're watching, mainly across eastern and southeastern Oklahoma. Uh, future track radar again, trying to bring in some of those showers, clipping us just to the south and then maybe a couple of downpours trying to come in across northwest Arkansas. Not everyone's going to see rain today, but in this pattern, we will have a chance for some isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms today. Highs will be into the 80s. We do get the added cloud cover mixing in with all the rain uh, that's ongoing in Oklahoma and parts of Kansas. So that's nice. Won't be full sunshine like we saw yesterday. Instead, again, we will have some shade provided by those clouds. Uh, this pattern does continue through the rest of the week. These rain chances will be tweaked up and down. I promise you that. But right now, we're just trying to get the message across that some isolated to scattered showers will be possible in the forecast here as we go uh, through the rest of the week into the weekend. <clears throat>